So the first thing I wanted to do when I got my little Raspberry Pi computer was get it up and running as quickly and easily as possible. And the easiest way to do that is to use a bit of software called Noobs. So to start with, just head over to raspberrypi.org and head on into the archives and 4100. And you'll bring up the main post where they first introduce Noobs. And it just stands for new out of box software. It's just a little software package that you put onto the Pi that gives you a range of operating system options. It's very easy and straightforward to install. So head on over to the downloads page, grab the zip file or the torrent if you want, and start downloading that. And this is really the easiest way to put a bunch of different operating systems onto the Raspberry Pi for you to start to play with. Okay, just grab the SD card from your Raspberry Pi and quickly put that into your computer. Now that your SD card is plugged in, just come to the zip file that you downloaded before and open that up. This is the package that you're going to be uh, installing. All you need to do is extract that to the specific SD drive that you plugged in and make sure it goes in there. Press OK and you're done. That's it. Now that, that image is on the SD card, again to reverse that and back into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I'm just using my television, so to start off with, we're going to just plug this into HDMI, add in a keyboard, a mouse, and power, and we're good to go. So when this boots up for the first time, you're presented with these six different operating systems you can very quickly install and to start with we're going to have a look at two and the first one we'll just do the Raspberry. Um, so this is just going to install this operating system over the top of whatever else is on the SD card and we're going to get that started. The first time Raspberry boots up you'll be presented with this uh, startup screen you can do things like overclocking and go into some advanced options, but just to start us off, we're going to enable boot to the desktop. And we'll just start that now. And then go to finish and reboot that. And it'll hopefully reboot us into the desktop environment. So when Raspbian finally boots to give you this basic operating system running on your Raspberry Pi, you do have a range of options. So you've got your CPU monitor down here. Uh, you've got kind of like a start menu here with a bunch of uh, applications, programs, and other options that you can use. Uh, you can jump on the internet with the internet browser if you like. Uh, there's a range of other shortcuts you can try out. Uh, I'm just going to give you three quick examples. Firstly, you've got your Python shell. So you can run basic scripts within this shell. So, as you usually would, for example. Secondly, you've got a whole bunch of games. This is just uh, the usual snake game. And just very quickly, you've got this other basic programming application that you can make little scripts and animations. For example, we're just going to make a, a new little sprite, as they call them. Bit of a funny looking one. And I'll just move that little sprite over here and then you add in basic control functions and repeat that function ten times. So we have a basic little uh, script we can use to animate this little custom sprite, for example. And it'll just go through that loop ten times. That's just a quick overview of a few of the things you can do in your Raspbian operating system on your Raspberry Pi. And now we're just going to have a look at another one of the options. Okay, so this time the second of these operating systems that I'm going to quickly show you is Rasp BMC, basically Raspberry Pi Media Center. So we're just going to 
install that one over the top of the last operating system and see what we can do with this one. So this is the main interface of the RASP BMC um, Media Center. So you have your options for system, programs, music. You can play uh, videos, pictures and a range of other settings. So I've just plugged in a USB stick into the Raspberry Pi with a video on that I made a little while ago and we're just going to have a quick look at that and see how it plays. So this is a pretty well featured media center. You can um, access playlists and media from the web and from other uh, local servers and other sources but we're just looking at the USB drive at this stage going into movies. Uh, this is MP4 file and yeah, just some basic Halo highlights playing there. You can see the interface along here. You can skip forward and yeah, you've got your usual options. I've gotten rid of my old media center device and I'm really just using this one now and it's serving pretty much all my needs. So that's the easiest way I know of to get your Raspberry Pi up and running. Play with some basic stripped down operating systems, you know, start learning some programming, have a play around, uh, get a media center up and running that you can start to use and a whole range of other options.